in this section we are going to work on this page where we are going to display this data first step by step we are going to do this process first we are going to display the static data then we will work on quantity then we will work on total price and finally we will work on grand total so now in this section we are just going to display this static data i have opened card.php inside this first we are going to write basic html code and here i am just going to write cart page and this will be our project only to differentiate between demo and project i am just writing the title as project control b i will come to index.php and from here i am just going to copy this two links i will close below this i am just going to paste i will save this i will come to my project i will refresh this one you can see title is changed to cart page you can give cart section or you can give cart page anything is fine now below this body we are going to include header include header and here i am just going to write php include and inside this i am just going to write header dot php and this header dot php i am just going to wrap in single quotes save this i will refresh this one now as soon as i include the header i will be getting this error why because inside header as i mentioned previously we have not included connect file but in other files wherever we included header we have connect file so that is the reason we got the error so what we will do we will be including connect file here php include connect dot php because inside cart we are displaying the dynamic number so we are just going to include this connect dot php i will refresh this now the error has gone and also in header this cart is displayed now inside this first we are going to build this static table i will come here below this header i am going to create one diff and for this diff i will give the class name as container inside this container i am going to create another section which will be holding our heading as well as our table i will write one section tag inside this i am just going to give a class as shopping cart whatever classes name you want you can give but if you are copying the same stylings what i have given then you have to write the same classes because i have applied stylings for these classes inside this i will write h1 and i am going to write the class as heading and i will just write here my cart save this i will come i will refresh this now diff container styling is applied as well as heading is displayed below this heading i want this table below this h1 i am going to create table inside table first i will just write here table head then totally seven table head i want th into 7 inside first one i will write serial number then i am going to write product name product image product price accordingly whatever you want to display it first you can display product price product quantity and here i want to display total price of each product if i am updating the quantity based on that quantity total price has to be displayed so i will write total price and finally i am going to write the action save this 
I will refresh this one. Now all the headings are displayed. Now inside these headings, as of now, I am going to display the static data. Later on, we are going to fetch the data from the cart table. Accordingly, we are going to modify and we are going to display the dynamic data. Below this table head, I am going to create table body. I will write here table row and totally td into 7. Totally 7 table data I want because I have given 7 headings here. I will write here 1. Product name, let me just write here laptop. Product image, I am going to create image tag. Image, inside this I will write images. Laptop.png and inside alt also i am just going to give here laptop then we have product price product price let me just write here 25000 then we have this product quantity as of now let me just write here one then we have this total price total price product quantity is one so i am just going to give the total price as 25000 as it is then we have this td that is for remove later on we are just going to display all the icons save this i will come to project refresh this one now static data is displayed serial number product name product image price quantity is one total price and action button now in our demo project if you see for product quantity we are having one input field of type number and also we are having one button and for this action one icon is also displayed so first we are going to work on this quantity i will remove this one in place of one what i will do i am just going to wrap this inside one div container and for this div i will just give the class name as quantity box Inside this, first we have the input of type number. And for this minimum value, I am just going to give 1. Below 1, I will not be able to reduce this one. So, minimum value is 1. Maximum can be anything. And after this, I am just going to create another input field. Same, I will copy. And instead of this number, I will write here submit. Because when I click on this submit button, whatever data I am having in the quantity input field, that data has to be updated in my cart. So based on that cart quantity, I am going to update my total price as well as my grand total. Type is equal to submit. Here we do not need this minimum attribute. I will remove this. For this, I am just going to give the class, class as update quantity, update quantity, save this, I will refresh my project, now here I have this input field, I am having all the values, now if I just decrease the value below 1, I won't be able to decrease, because I have given the minimum value as 1, and also I am having this submit button. Now instead of submit, I am just going to change the value to update. I will come and here I will just write here value. Value is equal to update. Save this. Again I will refresh this one. Now you can see the value is changed to update. Then we have this total price. According to this updating, total price will be changed. Then inside this last section, I will remove this. I will create one anchor tag. Inside this anchor tag, I am just going to create i. I am just going to create the icon. I will give the class as FAS. This is the class for dustbin. Trash. I will be closing this icon. And here I will write the text as remove. Save this. Now if I refresh, I am having this icon as well as I am having this text. Now a static table is created. We are having image name, product name and all the things are created. 
now what we have to do we have to display this continue shopping grand total and proceed to checkout below this table we are going to write bottom area and inside this i will create diff and for this diff i will give the class as table bottom now when i click on this continue shopping I will be redirected to shopproducts.php. So inside this diff container, I'm first I'm just going to write anchor tag href. I will be redirected to shopproducts.php. Shopproducts.php and I'm going to write the text as continue shopping. Continue shopping. Save this. I will refresh this one. Now I am having this black border as well as I am having this continue shopping. For this anchor tag, I am going to give the class. Class is equal to bottom btn. Save this. Again I will come. Refresh this one. Continue shopping is displayed. After continue shopping, I just want to display this one grand total. Again, I will come below this anchor tag. Okay, I have just created one div section. Inside this div section, I am just displaying all three things. I will just write here H3. And for this also, I am going to give the same button class bottom BTN. I am not going to wrap this grand total inside one anchor tag. Because whenever I click on this grand total, I do not want to redirect to any page. I will be in the same page itself. So I am just creating that as heading. I will just write here grand total. I will be creating span tag. Inside this span tag, grand total, let me just display as of now 25,000. Because in static data, we have displayed only one product and total price is 25,000. I will be closing this span. Save this. Come here. Refresh this one. We have this grand total. Now last, we have this proceed to checkout. So whenever I click on this proceed to checkout, I will be redirected to checkout page. So this I have to wrap inside anchor tag. I will just write here anchor tag. I will be creating one page checkout.php and for this also I am going to give the same class bottom btn because same stylings will be applied and inside this I am just going to write proceed to checkout. Save this. I will refresh this one. Now we have continue shopping, grand total and proceed to checkout. I will copy this file name, control V and inside this mean, I am just going to create that file. So whenever I click on that, I will not be having any error. Then finally, we have delete button. Below this diff container, inside this diff container, I have displayed three things. Now below this diff container, I will write anchor tag, href, as of now I am not going to display anything. Again I will write here icon. For this I am just going to give the class as fas, fa trash. I will close this icon and here I am just going to write delete all. As soon as I click on this button, all the products whatever I am having inside the cart, that should be deleted. Save this. I will refresh this one. Now I am having this delete all. For this, inside this anchor tag, I am just going to give the class. Class name I will give as delete all btn. Save this. I will refresh this one. Now delete all button is displayed. Now in this section, we have displayed the static table. We have displayed all our buttons and also we have displayed delete all button. 
from next session we will continue with our php code we will see how to update the products how to display total price how to display grand total if you learn this logic of cart then this cart will be useful in any project if you are creating e-commerce if you are creating any kind of project and if you are implementing cart in that then this logic will be very useful so from next session we are going to start with php